G'day folks, Peter Young for Fishing Monthly Magazines and what a beautiful day Victoria's put on for us today. We're here in Gippsland with Andrew Stephen from Melbourne Marine Centre and Andrew normally we're out in the ocean on big boats and coping with swell and everything else but today we're coping with sunburn and, and beautiful conditions. Give us an idea of what boat we're in today. Well today we're in the uh, Pioneer Cape Island 186 uh, which is a boat out of the US. Um, we're, we're lucky enough, as you said, Pete, to have fantastic conditions down here in, in Gippsland, um, and these boats are, are certainly catered for this this particular area. Yeah, the one thing I've noticed with this, we sort of snuck out yesterday and had a little bit of a fishy. Is this really is a boat targeted at anglers, isn't it? I mean, it's got lots of room, lots of space, lots of storage. Just take us through some of the features of the boat. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, you're right there, Pete. Is it's a it's a boat designed for anglers. So you've got you know, rod lockers either side of the boat that can take three to four rods in each side. Yep. Um, a nice big deep live well as well. Um, a nice stable platform so when you are walking around the boat casting those lures into the trees and snags and things like that, you know, the boat is very, very stable at rest. Heaps of storage to put all your tackle and gear as well. So, yeah, the, the, the one thing about it, and we tested it out yesterday and, and we've got some footage doing it, is you can pretty much walk around the entire gunnel and the boat stays flat, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, very, very stable. Yeah, it's great. So the one thing when you are an angler, and, and most of us these days, we want electronics, we want toys to play with. What's this one got on it? Uh, this has got just about everything on it, this one, again. Um, so what we've got starting at the back is we've got the uh, Minn Kota Talon, which is a 12-foot anchor, electric anchor, that goes down into the, into the ground and holds the transom sturdy. Um, if we move forward into the console area, we've got the Garmin 7410 uh, XSV, which is a 10-inch touchscreen unit. Um, that's running uh, clear view, side view, and we've also got the Panoptix transducer on it for that, that live view information as well. Um, and then obviously at the front of the boat, we've got the 80 pound motor guide XI5, which is, is great for trawling along the, the banks of the, the dam. Yeah, cruising along and casting lures and trying to catch fish, which we didn't do yesterday. No, exactly right. I think I caught more trees than I did anything yesterday. Exactly. Now, I want to go quickly back to the Garmin. We, we took some footage. You were showing me something on your phone yesterday. Just take us through that. Oh, the uh, Garmin Helm app. Yeah, so what that allows you to do is you can actually um, Wi-Fi to the Garmin 7410 and you can control everything uh, from your iPhone or your tablet, whatever it might be. So it's essentially it's giving you a second screen and you can be anywhere on the boat and, and view your, your head unit as to what's going on. So it's a great feature to have. And you can control it from your phone as well, can't you? Absolutely. Yeah, so if you've got an autopilot or something like that or you're trying to set a course or you want to change your sonar screen, it's all done from the phone. Yeah, it's a fantastic feature and, and, like I said, a nice little toy for us to all play with. Now, we obviously need to go all the way to the back of the boat. We've got a Mercury Pro XS 115 horsepower motor on there. Is, is that the maximum horsepower for this boat? No, this boat's rated to 150, but um, you know the 115 Pro XS is, is a really nice balance on the, on the package. Uh, gives it good performance out of the hull, great fuel economy as we've seen today as well. Excellent. So, again, being a fiberglass boat, there is a little bit of weight to it. Obviously towing and launching retrieving is something that people would want to know about. Take us through the trailer and, and can you launch and retrieve this yourself? Yeah, absolutely. If the facilities lend itself to that. I mean, you can always walk across the front of the, the trailer and climb over the bow, being that it's nice and open anyway. Um, but yeah, multi-roller trailer, so very, very easy to launch and retrieve. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a shallow water ramp or anything like that, it'll just roll on, roll off. Uh, and you're right, with, there is a little bit of weight to the boat, so having a tandem axle trailer, it, toes very very nicely behind the boat too. Yeah no we, we certainly had no troubles at all so with the 115 on the back and, and the way we've put it onto the water what sort of price point are we looking at? Uh, as displayed here with everything that's on it you're talking around the $73,000 mark. Um, price point though if you wanted to get into one from a basic probably low 60s somewhere around there I would suggest. That's a, that's a lot of boat for low 60s isn't it? Yeah absolutely yeah. So if people want to know more about this boat and, and the other range of boats that you've got at Melbourne Marine, how, how do they get in touch with you and where can they see some of the information? Um, all the information will be on our website. Uh, the Pioneer boats are listed there as well. There is a full range of Pioneer um, boats. Obviously, they don't just make the 186. They make a, a variety of different style of centre cabs and uh, T-tops and bow riders and everything like that as well. Um, but if they go to our website, there's information there at melbournemarine.com.au. Yeah, and a phone number to get hold of you? Uh, 9703 Excellent. So, as is the custom with Fishing Monthly magazines, it's now time for us to show you what this boat's like out in the water.
So there you go, the weather is that good that we've actually sought out some shade today here in Victoria. Um, just wanted to take you through a little bit of a summary of the Pioneer Cape Island 186. Um, serious fishing machine. A three is most probably the best way to describe it. Um, certainly for the stuff that we've done during the testing, casting in amongst trees and snags and, and working banks, you know, the versatility of this would be is it would be as comfortable out in Port Phillip Bay, Moreton Bay in Queensland, any of those areas. It just rides nicely. It's incredibly stable on the water. Um, and the fishing space, there's just lots of it. You can walk around the entire boat and fish from it. There is nothing there to basically obscure what you're trying to do. Um, the key to that is the amount of storage. Rod lockers both sides. Um, a massive area at the front to store all your equipment, which means basically when you are fishing, everything's out of your way. Um, electronics, Andrew's really done a good job with this. Obviously the Garmin sound is pretty special. Uh, the motor guide, the one thing that did surprise me is this, is this is a fair lump of boat and the stealth in which it got us around in the timber yesterday and, and, and playing around today is a credit to what the motor guide can do and what it does for a boat like this. Um, the Mercury Pro, Pro XS 115, again, not maximum horsepower for this boat, but the boat performed beautifully with it. And when you consider it comes in around $73,000 with the 115 on it, the necessity to go to 150 most probably isn't there if the boat performs like this with the 115 on it. Um, launch and retrieve, fantastic. Again, I'm not into really big boats, but this one, it was done with ease. Um, and, and the boys certainly have set it up nicely on the McKay trailer. If you want to know more about this boat and, and or want to speak to Andrew, best opportunity is to go to their website, melbmarine.com.au. Um, all their contact details are there and they'd be more than happy to take you through any of the boats that they have in the range. Um, time to have a bit of lunch, get out of the heat of the middle of the day and most probably take this little guy out for a little bit more of a fish later on. Until next time, see you out in the water.